for example, Russia, I've gotten 11,000 requests from there. Back in March, which feels like ages ago, we introduced you to then 17-year-old Mercer Island High School student Avi Schiffman. I decided it would be kind of cool if I made a website that was kind of like a central hub of information. His open source website featuring COVID-19 case data was getting millions of hits from all over the world. Today, he's now one of the names behind the numbers on the website he created. Tell me, how are you feeling today? Um, I still feel pretty sick. I mean, I feel a little bit better than the past couple of days. After experiencing COVID-like symptoms last week and then testing positive for the virus, he and his mom started quarantining at his family's cabin. And just like general, just breathing um, kind of feels like your lungs are on fire like a little bit. It's pretty terrible. And that's just the respiratory symptoms. I mean, I also have like a headache and my eyes hurt when I move them. The now 18 year old says he hopes his own experience can serve as a warning to his peers. I hope that the fact that I've shown that I can get sick too can show a lot of other people that they're not like invincible either because um, I think a lot of I think a lot of like my peers have thought that we're kind of invincible to this virus. Avi says he's concerned about the long term effects of the virus, which the CDC says can range from a cough to lung damage. Even as he's trying to recover at his cabin, Avi says he's focused on keeping his website running with the latest information. It has been such a long time since we first did that interview back in, in early March. And since then, the site has really become so much more of an international site. You know, I, I track so much more than I did back then. Britt Moore, King 5 News.